Good day and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. In this video we're going to take a look at the Messenger Traversing Hacker Space set and discuss, well, basically who this set is best used on. So, the Messenger Traversing Hacker Space set can be obtained from the Path of Elixir Seekers Cavern of Corrosion and this can be unlocked once you gain access to the Ji Hao Le Felu uh, <laughs> section of the story which basically is the latest two chapters of the story and uh, that you gain access to now let's discuss who the set is best used on so firstly to discuss the set itself the set gives a really really solid bonus so the relic sets two feet piece effect is increase of speed and the four b four piece bonus is when they use their ultimate on an ally Speed for all allies increases by 12% for one turn. This effect cannot be stacked. So it's important to note that this effect can't be stacked. So if you're going to be using any of these units in conjunction with each other, for example, if you're going to be using Bailu alongside Bronya as your healers, then potentially you don't want to run this set on both of them. So it is super important to understand that because generally speaking, this effect can't be doubled up. So outside of that, yeah, let's take a look at which units it's going to be best on. Now, starting with the most obvious choice, and I think a unit that basically is really, really solid and enjoys it, uh, is Bronya. Now, Bronya is a great choice for two reasons. One, uh, she enjoys having speed, and you want Bronya to have speed due to the fact that you want her to get off her abilities more often. Remember, she facilitates other units so her being able to activate her skill more often from the two set bonus of speed means that she's going to be having a better time her ultimate as well is a great buff for all allies so she already adds crit and damage to them so adding speed as well is a pretty good bonus and makes her a huge aoe buffer for the team which i think a lot of people probably appreciate alongside that if we take a look at tagoon She's also a great build for this. Uh, obviously, Tigun, Tigian, Tingyan, Tingyan, thank you, can be run alongside uh, Branya. And generally speaking, you don't want to run two of these sets. So just be careful that you're not running both of them with this set. Now, it's great for Tigun as a unit in general because of two reasons. Again, the ability for her to provide a big energy boost and damage boost to a specific unit and in doing so buffing the rest of the team now Asta is also a great choice for this Asta herself provides a speed buff already so Asta being able to provide a secondary follow-up buff off of her set bonus is going to be pretty damn good now of course if you are looking at her from using her with everyone else you probably don't want to run her Again, overlapping. You always have to be careful of this. But yes, basically, to cut a long story short, she's a great choice. And finally, healers. Uh, Bailu, uh, Natasha, any AoE healer is a pretty solid choice for the set. Because again, you're going to be healing your team with the AoE effect. And on top of that, providing a speed bonus. So it's just any unit where thereby the ultimate's also got a pretty low threshold can be activated quite regularly the ability for you to get that off and provide not only healing or aoe buffs mm -hmm. alongside as well just providing that speed bonus is always going to be really really good so yes these are prime units just remember that if you are going to run any of these units conjunctively so alongside each other you don't want to have the same set and that's it that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah i'll definitely see you in the next one bye